All right, so here we've got the following vector function. Uh, what is it? 2 log t, 2t, half t squared. And t is between 1 and 2. Now, it's not clear what kind of curve that is, but we don't really have to worry about that for... Yeah, unless it's a really obvious curve, we don't really need to worry about it. Okay, so we know that the arc length is given by the following. In the vector format. So here our A would be 1, our B would be 2. And our vector functions written up the top. So let's say let's call the arc length L. So let's calculate the derivative. It's going to be two on t, two and t. So the magnitude of that vector function is just that squared, well, I guess each component squared added together. Now, this is a good, a good chance to pause and, and think, OK, I'm going to have to integrate that bottom line. So it's hard to integrate things with square root signs in them, in general. So what we would like to do is manage away the square root sign. Okay, so um, I'm going to expand it, but you, know, you might already see what what's required here. Can anybody see how we can simplify what's in the square root sign? Sorry. Oh, that's not bad. Even simple. Well, I guess um, so. You're looking to factorize, right? Yeah, so it's exactly right. So one good idea here is to try to turn this into the square of something. Okay? Now, I've got to admit, we wouldn't give you questions that were just, you know, horrible, horrible to integrate. So you should be looking for the square of something inside that square root sign. So if I write it like this, hopefully the um, penny will drop. Now, convince yourself that that's, that that's okay, that the algebra is okay for that. What it means is I can just get rid of the square root sign, and because t is between 1 and 2, I don't have to worry about absolute values or anything like that. So that's what I'll get. So let's finish the problem. So I'm integrating from 1 to 2 of t on, uh, sorry, t plus 2 on t dt. So we can integrate that, hopefully, and I'm going to get something like this. Okay, so all I need to do is sub in 2 and 1, and I'll get something like this. Yeah, that's a good problem. That's the, we, want it, we want you to be able to calculate the arc length using vector, vector methods, vector-valued functions. 